Hello everyone, it's Mohammed from Swift Learner Driving School and welcome to our channel. In this video we're going to teach you the three spires roundabout in the Coventry test route, also the two double mini roundabouts in Holbrooks. Now we're on the A444 heading south towards the three spires roundabout and we're following the signs for city centre or Falls Hill. Now something to keep in mind, the speed limit on this road is 50 miles per hour, so if it is safe to do so, try and build the speed up to 50 miles per hour. Now as we can see from the board up ahead, Falls Hill will be a left first exit, and there are road markings on the lane on the floor, confirming that it is the left lane that we need. Now we're checking our center and left mirror, we're signaling left, we're looking to the right, once it's clear, we're going to enter the roundabout, we're going to keep close to the curb on the left, we're going to make sure we keep our left signal on, and we're going to build the speed up to 50 miles per hour if it is safe to do so. Now we're in the A triple four again. We're heading north towards the Three Spires roundabout, and this time we're following the signs for Nuneaton and Bedworth. The Nuneaton will be a straight second exit, or we could call it a right second exit. Now to head towards Nuneaton and Bedworth, we want to either use the middle lane or the right lane. So in this case, we're going to use the middle lane because the right lane is for overtaking and faster moving vehicles. And we're going to start looking right and ahead. Now on the right there's a vehicle, so we're just going to stop at the roundabout. And once it's clear, we're going to enter and we're going to make sure we stay in our lane. From about here, we're going to start checking our center and left mirror and we're going to apply a left signal. Now something to bear in mind, there is a slip road on the left and be mindful of vehicles merging into our lane. Now we're on the A triple four again and we're heading south towards the Three Spires roundabout and this time we're following the signs for Holbrooks. Now Holbrooks will be a right second exit. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to move into the right lane. So we're going to check our center and right mirror, we'll have a quick blind spot check and move into the right lane. As we can see from the board up ahead, Holbrooks will be a right second exit. Now the lane that we're in is going to split into two lanes. Now I want to emphasize we need to make sure we stay in the right lane, the most inner lane. Now a common mistake people make in their driving tests is they use the middle lane to cut across and go towards Holbrooks. Now the middle lane is signposted city center straight on. It's safer for us to head towards the city center than to cut across and potentially cause an accident. Now we're gonna start checking our center and right mirror and we're gonna apply a right signal. It's clear on the right, so we're gonna enter in our lane. We're gonna make sure we keep close to the curb on the right. Now when we get to about here, we're gonna check our center and left mirror. We're gonna apply a left signal. We're gonna take the exit. Now the speed limit here drops to 30 miles per hour, so we want to make sure we don't go over 30 miles per hour. Now there's another smaller roundabout up ahead, and we're still following the sign for Holbrooks, which is straight first exit. Now we're going to start looking right and ahead. It's clear in this occasion, so we're going to continue. We're going to make sure we keep in the left lane. We're going to make sure we check our centre and left mirror, and apply a left signal and take the exit. We're on Holbrook Way. We're heading out of Coventry and following the signs for Nuneaton. As we can see from the board up ahead, we'll be approaching two roundabouts. At the first roundabout, we'll be going straight, and at the second roundabout, we'll be turning left towards Nuneaton and Bedworth. So at the first roundabout, we're using the right lane to go straight. So we've just checked our centre and right mirror. We've had a look on the right, and we've entered the roundabout. Now about here, we're checking our centre and left mirror. We're signalling left, and we're moving into the left and taking the exit. Now we're approaching the second roundabout, which is the Three Spires roundabout. So Nuneaton will be a left, first exit and we're going to need the left lane so we've just checked our center and left mirror we don't need a signal here because it's a filter lane and we need to merge into the right lane so we've just checked our center and right mirror we've signal right we've turned our blind spot check and we moved in and we're going to build the speed up to 50 miles per hour if it's safe to do so we're on Holbrook way again and this time we're following the signs for city center as we can see from the board up ahead we're approaching the two roundabouts again and this time we're going straight at the first roundabout, but right at the second roundabout, which will be the second exit towards city centre. We're going to check our centre and right mirror, and we're going to use the right lane. And we're looking to the right, it's clear, so we're going to enter the roundabout. Now from about here, we're just checking our centre and left mirror, we're going to signal left, and we're going to take the exit. Now we're approaching the Three Spires roundabout, which is the second roundabout we spoke about. And to go towards city centre, it will be a right second exit. So we can use both the middle and right lane to go city centre. And we want to make sure we're using the middle lane because the right lane is for overtaking and faster moving vehicles. Now it's clear so we've entered the roundabout and make sure we're staying in our lane. And we've just checked our centre and left mirror, we're signalling left and we want to make sure we spiral completely out to the far left lane following the curb on the left. 
and the speed limit is 50 miles per hour so if it's safe to do so try and get up the speed up to 50 miles per hour now we're on Holbrook Way and we're heading towards Burnaby Road there'll be two roundabouts that we'll be approaching so we're turning left at the first roundabout and right at the second now at the first roundabout we want to make sure we're using the second lane which is the lane that we're in now now it's clear on the right so we're going to enter the roundabout now here we're going to check our center and left mirror we're going to signal left we want to make sure we stay in the inner lane the lane that we're in now we're approaching the second roundabout now and it'll be a right second exit so we're going to check our center and right mirror we're going to signal right it's clear on the right so we're going to enter and we want to make sure we check our center and left mirror because it's a small roundabout we don't need to signal here and we want to make sure we take the exit now speed limits 30 miles per hour on this road it is a quite a narrow road so just be careful of your speed the reason I've advised us not to signal off the last roundabout is because, in my opinion, coming off a mini roundabout, it is safer to focus on the steering than the signal. We're on Holbrook Way again, and this time we're heading towards Holbrook Lane. So we're approaching the two roundabouts again. At the first roundabout, we're going right second exit, and at the second roundabout, we're heading straight second exit. So we're going to check our centre and right mirror. We're going to signal right. And we're going to move into the right lane once it's clear we're going to make sure we keep close to the curb on the right once we go past the first exit we check our center and left mirror we signal left and we spiral out to the far left lane now we're approaching the second roundabout on holbrook lane so we're heading straight second exit so we're just looking to our right it's clear so we're going to enter the roundabout in the outer lane we're going to check our center and left mirror we signal left and we're going to take the exit we're on holbrook lane and we're heading towards holbrook way as we can see from the board up ahead that we're approaching the two roundabouts so at the first roundabout we're turning left first exit then at the second roundabout we're turning left second exit so we're approaching the first roundabout so we're going to check our center and left mirror we're going to signal left we're going to look to the right it's clear on the right so we're going to enter the roundabout in the left lane and we're going to stay in the left lane we're approaching the second roundabout now again we're checking our center and left mirror but this time we're not signaling yet we're going to look to the right and ahead once it's clear we're going to enter the roundabout and we're going to make sure we signal after the first exit. So now we're moving away. So we're going to check our center and left mirror here. We're going to signal left. We're going to stay in the left lane and we're going to take the exit. Just to bear in mind, the speed limit is 30 miles per hour on this road. So we'll bring the speed up to 30 miles per hour if it's safe to do so. Thank you everyone for watching and hope you liked our video. If you don't want to miss out on more of our educational content, please consider subscribing. You can also follow us on social media. The links are in the description below. Hope to see you again in our next video.